Good afternoon. Professor Klaus Feyen is here with me. You are from the German University in Kassel and you are organizing a master course that means uh, that uh, students from the renewable energies, mostly solar heating and cooling, take part in the Eurosun conference. And uh, what is this course about? Yeah, as you already explained, they, the idea is that they take part in, a, in this conference, uh, choose a specific topic, are connected in groups of two internationally, also language internationally groups of two, and shall prepare an overview about this topic, what they learned during this conference, and present that at the end uh, in a seminar to all the other students. Okay, so Hanna Sotnikova, you are from the Zurich University, it's a Polytechnic University in Switzerland. You're one of the students. What made you apply for this course? I'm doing a master program in business engineering and production, as you said, in Zurich University of Applied Sciences. And uh, before, I already did one master program in renewable energy engineering, and that's why this course com um, complements perfectly my studies. And it's also a good opportunity to attend the conference, to build professional network and to undertake challenges in the international environment. So what is your topic? You have received a topic you are now researching on and reporting at the end? Yes, exactly. I already received my topic and my topic is photovoltaic and photovoltaic thermal systems for buildings and the industry. Okay, good luck for that. I think uh, Professor Fein, besides these master courses, you are also involved in a network. It's like, uh, it's called SolNet Initiative and it links different universities to coordinate PhD students. What is your university profiting for that? Yeah, it's not only our university, so all universities are profiting because uh, it's usually very difficult to offer courses on PhD level if there are only very few PhD students. If you have three or four PhD students, it's not reasonable to offer a course. And this is much easier to do it in international cooperation. So each of the professors has to prepare maybe half a course every fourth year and uh, in his subject where he's most familiar with, but can send his PhD student to all the other courses which take place and are given by the other teachers. So that means it's a minimum effort and a maximum output uh, and all take advantage of that. The PhD students get high level courses which are not available all over the world else. The teachers get high-level uh, educated PhD students uh, and PhD students from all over the world can take part in this course, free of charge, and the, the solar industry gets uh, graduates uh, which, which know, who know all other people working in the same subject all over Europe uh, in their age. So that's a great network where they can start their career with. It seems that solar heating and cooling is sort of a front runner and a SolNet initiative doesn't exist yet in other renewables. Could this also be an option for other renewable technologies? Yeah, uh, probably we are a front runner. I do not have a complete overview, but uh, our experiences are so positive that we would at least recommend to implement that in other renewable or a similar uh, procedure and other renewable technologies as well. And uh, we are quite open to transfer our knowledge and our experience. So if someone is interested, uh, it's well published and we are uh, open for any advice. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy the conference. Yeah, thank you, Ralph. Thank you. Thank you.